What's up, guys? It's Joey. I'm back again. So, it is February the 3rd. It's 12 a.m. at night. And, um, just wanted to just sit here and talk. It's pretty cold out tonight. Um, it is, well, yeah, it's a little cold. 55 degrees. It's pretty cold. I wish it was actually like this during the day in Miami, but that's rare. So, I saw the Super Bowl. I thought the game was whack, honestly. I feel like the game was rigged. Like, when they did that that play and that ball touched the white part of the floor. I didn't know that they could do that and that that was accepted. Or just like putting the ball inside of that pole, that yellow, that yellow pole. And then, you know, they got their points, whatever. I thought that wasn't fair. I consider that shit cheating, but hey, whatever. The game was, eh. I was mostly excited for the commercials and, and, and the performance, J-Lo and Shakira. I think it was really, really nice. Um, great choreography, you know, awesome dancing. I was really surprised when I saw J Balvin and Bad Bunny. I love Bad Bunny. I like J J Balvin, Bal Balvin's music. Bad Bunny more, but I don't know. Like I was kind of surprised that how how uh, they were both dressed. Why was Bad Bunny dressed up like that? Like you're at the Super Bowl, you couldn't you dress a little bit better? In my opinion, and why was he wearing a fucking do rag? I don't know, I just personally feel as a Latina that, you know, if you're going to perform at the Super Bowl, at least dress up a little better. Other than that, you know, commercials were really cool. The Jason Momoa commercial was kind of disturbing. But anyway, <laughs> I was confused at that commercial because I was like, wait, is that still Jason Momoa? All skinny and stuff? Uh, the movie trailers were cool. Yeah, some of them were weird. You know, you get a little bit of everything, right? I actually went to my cousin's house and and saw it. So it was really cool to like catch up again. I don't really get to see my cousin a lot anymore. And then I came home and I was FaceTiming uh, my boyfriend and he's just been working a lot. And I think I just see him like once or twice a week now because of work and stuff like that um anyway so i don't know man i've just been down because um a little down because i miss my my son and he's been over there at his gra grandparents house in west palm beach and it's really hard man like i don't know i try really hard you know as a parent to just you know think that you know he's gonna be okay and whatever he's safe and everything but at the end of the day man it's my son and it's hard being away from your kid, you know, and I miss him, I guess. So I was, I, I kind of got upset earlier because, you know, you know, my emotions come out and, um, I guess when I like hold on to my emotions and how I, and how I feel for, for too long, I kind of, I just tend to ignore the way I feel uh, most of the time. And then I just let that shit out. <laughs> Once I saw the baby sleeping, um, you know, on video, it was just, you know, I just started bawling because I miss him. But, um, you know, I'm going to see him on uh, either Monday, tomorrow, right? I'm pretty sure on Tuesday. Tuesday, was, they're both coming back from West Palm Beach. But anyway, so that's that, man. You know, as a parent, it's hard. It's just hard to juggle between um, work and, you know, taking care of a kid and, stuff like that um i don't want to get too personal but you know it is what it is and i miss my son there are always going to be obstacles in life and but overall i'm pretty content with life I'm, I'm just glad that we're all healthy at the end of the day you know it's all that matters uh we have a roof and we got some food and and that's that's all there is to it you know i'm surrounded by by good people in general, I have good friends, uh, good coworkers, and I've met a lot of cool people at work, 
and I'm pretty surprised that I've even gotten close to certain people at work and um, you know I know that uh, some of them have, have good intentions and it's really hard it's just really hard to make friends you know personally especially living in Miami and I just hope that the friendship grows you know I just like that 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 nothing gets too personal in my workspace um, I've had previous jobs where like it's a it's it's a small staff and then if you don't show up it gets too personal because then the person has to stay and shit like that you know what I mean um, it's not like that there by the way I really want to thank you for the ones that still watch my videos um, I've been on this channel for more than 10 years and some of you have seen me grow up um, some of you guys have seen me since I was like 19 years old and that's that's really cool um, so thank you I really appreciate it um, some of y'all like message me through Instagram you know and uh, I catch up with some of you you people guys girls whatever I feel like when I say you guys it, it, it kind of sounds like insulting but you the viewers um, it's crazy that once uh, you become a parent everything you know I've, I'm surrounded by just being a parent now and you know ever since I I became a parent I just see things so differently now. I've done like so many mistakes in the past and I just wish I didn't do them. You know, when it came to family and like close friends that I had, I could just feel like it was just small stuff. I've learned that sometimes you have to accept people for who they are. I've also learned that I can't just always have it my way. Um, I can't always be thinking that that I want it all my way and I want certain people to act how I want them to act and not how I want them to be you know people are just people at the end of the day I don't know what they went through people have dark secrets that you probably don't even know about people you just don't know what people are going through so honestly I've just learned to just be nice to people at the end of the day if they want to be in your life then they'll be in your life Sometimes people are not supposed to be in your life. You guys are probably like, what the fuck are you talking about, Joey? Not to get too into, you know, the situation, but um, I haven't spoken to my brother in like years for, for shit, man. And I think it has a lot to do with my parents and how we were raised. And I think there are a lot of things that we don't talk about as siblings that we should have talked about growing up as teenagers um i think the way that our parents have parented us has affected us a lot as humans and as adults i'm just self-aware about it now because I'm a parent myself I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd be this self-aware if if I wasn't a parent I'd be so fucking ignorant about shit and so ignorant about my, about my own self I don't want my son to do the same thing like if my son was to have a sibling I don't want him to go through the same things that I've gone through um, as a sibling I'd be a little more happier if I had a better relationship with my own brother I feel like there's like this emptiness and I'm not talking for my for only me I think that you know I, I speak for my brother as well I'm pretty sure he feels the same way it's just not talked about in the family it's just I don't know that I don't I don't know how to find a solution anymore I've tried and I've tried to do my part and and I don't know what else to do I just feel like if I confront him, he's just gonna like ignore me and just walk away. And so, I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm just so tired of like uh, the rejection um, of people. So I just feel like I have to move on with my life when it comes to that, and just just uh, deal with my own family. When I when I when I just say about my family, my fiance and my child, and that's it. And and do 
as much as I can. And um, I, I actually saw this saw this like article on Facebook about how like you can't really force relationships. You shouldn't have to force relationships. If a person wants to be involved with your life, in your life, they're gonna do it no matter what. And I'm just tired of like m the mental torture when it comes to like trying to figure out how to mend relationships. And I think things could be worse in my life. And and honestly, they're not. People are always gonna have a certain perception of you. And I think 90% of the time, it's incorrect. You can't really try to try to force someone to change their mindset about you. It is what it is. It's just, I think about how I can make my life happier. I'm also trying to just um, make things better with other families too other family members that live in Miami, Florida. And I think that having my son has helped out a lot with that because I have other cousins with kids and stuff like that. And so they, they want to know my, my son. They want to, um, they want my son to have play dates with their sons. So I think that's really cool. So, you know, I guess what I have to tell myself is, you know, one step at a time, right? And I think life takes its path and it's just gonna put you in a place that you belong in. And that's it, really. By the way, I've been watching a couple movies that I've been wanting to, to watch. I saw Joker. Joker is great. Great movie. I saw Maleficent 2. It was so beautiful. I loved it, so colorful and so creative. I really enjoyed it. I actually want to watch it again. But Joker, man, Joker was crazy, man. I just love the cinematography. It was amazing. I want to rewatch it just because of that. But yeah, I have to watch more movies. So please recommend great movies. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all, guys. Um, leave a comment. Tell me something. I don't know. Tell me a great movie that you recommend. Tell me... In any suggestions of anything creative that I should start doing any hobbies tell me tell me what you've been up to any did you uh, start doing something different this year um, is there anything that you want to accomplish this year what do you think what do you think of 2020 I know a lot of things have happened I get it and it's just February you know so tell me how you feel thank you for watching Thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a great week. Bye, guys.